Welcome. Today I'm going to be trying out some of the strong, rigid, or tough type of resins and just get a comparison with some fun little experiments to see how much they will bend and how much impact they can take. So the resins that I'm going to be trying is this Funk Recall High Precision Resin. This particular one is red wax and though not necessarily specified as a tough resin it is supposed to be stronger than their other resins so I'm just gonna throw that in with the rest of the tough uh, resins that I'm going to try. This is gonna be Soraya Tex. This is a custom mixture it's not just straight tenacious it's their about 80 percent ABS like fast with about 20 percent of the tenacious that's what I typically use for my miniatures so that's gives a little bit more strength and flexibility. They do now have a a tough version that is essentially a mixture like this already mixed for you. So you don't have to mix your own. This is the Anycubic UV Tough Resin. It's clear. I actually forgot that I had this. Um, so it's a little bit older than the others but it should still work just fine. I have Esun's Hard Tough Resin this particular one is white and then I have Monocure's new tensile in the gray and this stuff is supposed to be super rigid super tough and of the lot is the most expensive just for fun I'm going to do I'm gonna print little just a miniature long sword and we're gonna do like a forged in fire style where they put the sword in a thing and then they just see how far it will bend both directions to see if it will bend before it breaks and then I will do from Bob's Burgers the Coochie Kopi and we'll hit it with a hammer <laughs> just for some impact or drop it. Haven't quite decided exactly how I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do the same thing for each different type of resin. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'll find out which print settings work best for me on the Elegoo Saturn 8K and then I will print all of my test pieces and go through the tests and hopefully be a relatively quick video compared to my others. I like to keep them short if I can. Now that we have all of our prints done, we're ready to do some testing. I would say they're all pretty similar, but as far as coming back to the original shape and form, the tensile definitely did better at that. Even the pieces that are broken are straight. Okay, now for the impact test. This isn't going to be extremely scientific because I don't really have a good way of delivering a consistent amount of force to each model. I've got a small hammer and I'm just going to let the weight of it be the force <laughs> when it falls on them and if that doesn't break it which I imagine some of these it won't then I'll just have to try my best to consistently hit it slightly harder in intervals Still significantly stronger than I expected that to be for not being a tough resin. Okay, that was that was really hard. 
I don't feel comfortable hitting it much harder than that. Everything on my table is shaking. Oh, that one actually was not that hard. That one broke just about as easy, if not easier, than the Funk Recall stuff did. Of course, this is for tensile strength, not necessarily impact strength. So, in summary, the Funk Recall resin actually did a lot better than I thought it would for being a rigid resin, not necessarily a tough resin, but it is strong and it, and it did a lot better than I expected of just a typical resin. And it also prints really well with good details. As far as impact and stuff, it didn't do as well as the others, of course, but it's not tough. And it, I still hit these way harder than I would ever hit anything or any kind of tumble that it's just going to take naturally. And it was able to bend pretty far. So as far as your minis not getting knocked off the table, they should be fine. I would almost consider that a tough resin in, in that regard. Any cubic tough resin did pretty good on the bending, but this one actually did the best as far as, I hit this thing really hard. It shook my whole table, things were falling off of it. So as far as impact, at least for this kind of unprofessional test that I did, but just for fun, this definitely won with the strength of impact. My mixture, basically right in the middle of everything. It was able to bend pretty far before breaking. Withstood the impact pretty well. The Esun was pretty consistent across both. It was able to bend really far and quite a bit of force before it was able to actually break. The tensile strength was not anything I tested, so that was pretty unfair, but this is really expensive resin, really strong. It was able to bend really well. It, it, was, it was the best for keeping its form and its shape after being bent back and forth, and it would go back to being true. It did not take very much impact to break it, but it's meant more for like a pulling strength. And I didn't do any pulling tests. I'm not usually pulling or shearing on my minis. They're usually getting pushed on in a container or something and to bend it maybe, or falling off the table. I'll leave some links to these resins if you're wanting to try any of them, see what results you get. You can look up their statistics of how durable they should be with elongation, tensile and impact resistance, things like that. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you if you're wanting to look through different types of tough resin and wanting to use those for your miniatures. And until next time, go print some really tough stuff.